Another top story tonight, they've revamped and recharged. We're talking about the 901 Block Squad. That's a youth intervention group with a dozen new mentors ready to serve in the city's most crime riddled neighborhoods. The city and its police department think the organization is onto something and may just be able to give hope that we all share of stopping the summer surge of violent crime. Brad Broders has more. Oh, here I am, and uh, looking forward to doing some good things in the city. Last month, Larry Hurd didn't hesitate when given the chance. The longtime coach took on a new role as a mentor in the Memphis Youth Intervention Group 901 Block Squad. The more implementation we can do, the more hands-on, um, the more involved what kids trust us and what we say. Um, it makes a difference. With Heard and others now on board, 91 Block Squad is stronger and larger than it's been in years, thanks to the new City of Memphis budget, which allowed staffing to nearly double from 13 to 25. It gives us a lot of more manpower. It gives us the opportunity to where we can cover more space, touch more lives. The group includes former active gang members and others who've served time. It's different backgrounds with the same goal, turning vulnerable young people away from a criminal path. I have to look within. At one time, I used to be them. So that's why I'm able to have the license to operate in these communities and that they understand me because I speak their language. The intervention group's expansion comes as the city of Memphis is at risk of setting a new record high in homicides for a second consecutive year. That's what makes the youth interactions and connections so important. It's going to impact the crime rate you know, dramatically because we're going to be able to mentor more kids. We're going to be able to basically sow into their lives and help them to become positive and productive citizens. Those leading 901 block squads say the new mentors hired will not only be spread out in more places, but they can again return to specific areas underserved the past two years, including Raleigh and Westwood. We are told an additional 15 mentors could also be hired this fall, potentially through available federal dollars. Reporting in the airport area, I'm Brad Broders.